Hey guys, what's going on? Last night I was cleaning my Jaguar and I noticed while well, I was getting all the sweat and grease and grime off it and changing the strings and the whammy bar got all of a sudden when I got it back together this was flopping and I'm like oh I don't feel like messing with this but it was really easy to uh, fix all I did was uh, put a capo on my strings and loosened them and then I took out these six screws one two three four five six that keeps it screwed onto the body, little Phillips screws. Then I got out my uh, Stumac guitar crescent wrench. This is a 12 millimeter. And uh, flip this over. Here's the problem. The, this nut got loose. We'll see if I can tighten that up. We shall see if it will respond. A little awkward. Tightening up a little bit. There, now it's not moving around. I'm going to get it pretty tight. Just so if I'm playing a gig, I don't end up all without a whammy bar. So I lay him back on there. And it feels pretty good. So, uh, of course, I'm just going to put those six screws back on if I can not a big deal I find the Jaguar stays in tune you know in all kinds of temperatures and conditions I can abuse the whammy bar as much as I want and I just it's not gonna go out of tune you know if you're thinking about a Floyd Rose, those are really complicated. And to me, a Floyd Rose is a lot of trouble. And uh, a Strat is pretty good. They can be a little fussy. I like the Strat. Uh, Bigsby, I've had good luck with. The Gibson Vibrato, like on my SG, that stays in tune. My Mustang stays in tune. The only ones... I just never had good luck with like Kaler or is it Collar? Kaler and Floyd Rose are the two I would just not recommend. But the Jaguar and Jazzmaster Mustang are by far my favorite kind of whammy bar systems. So just for fun, I'm just hanging out, putting in those screws. I realize this is pretty boring, but uh, it was an easy fix. So if you're. Uh, whammy bar gets all loose and floppy don't panic again just put a capo on loosen your strings take out those six screws lift up the plate and you'll see a nut on like a I don't know a collar thing you get a 12 millimeter crescent wrench or maybe a some sort of a deep socket might do it and you will be back in shape so maybe we'll just tighten up the strings and give it a good test if you can stand it it's about like watching paint dry but uh, might, I might be saving somebody a, a trip to the guitar doctor here so might maybe we're doing some good and loose strings crank them up I always like to have fresh strings when I play live just because if I had to change strings at a gig I feel like I would be flustered. I do have a spare guitar in case I break a string. I just would messing with uh, 
these fine motor skills in a dark bar just sounds like more stress than I want to deal with. I just, I don't really break strings too often just because I change them a lot and I don't have a super heavy, I don't know, I try to, I try to play not super ham-fisted. Try not to punch the strings to death. Let's just see what we got here. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I think we fixed that for now. That will probably last for a year or so until it sags again. But again, next time, just get my 12 millimeter uh, crescent wrench. I like this combination screwdriver where you can use that every day. Great tool. That comes out. Standard or Phillips. Cool, man. I hope I helped a couple of people. Thanks for checking out my channel. See ya.